Hi everyone, uh, today is uh, day 28 and um, just uh, taking a topic from the beginning of the month and uh, earlier in the month um, I was uh, thinking uh, about um, Kurt Cobain and, and many musicians that uh, uh, who have come and gone and uh, but also taking it as a broader topic of uh, like music and language learning and um, I when I was younger uh, I was kind of torn between kind of music and languages and felt like I had to choose between the two um, I, I've enjoyed both and and at some point, I stopped like really leaning into the music and and uh, uh, like developing it as a craft and really practicing the instruments and getting good at them. I felt like music had become like a competition, and uh, I had just come from a, a small town in the U.S. and and uh, I felt like there I achieved a lot of stuff in that music community. And then when I got to Europe, I was very intimidated when I, when I met all these really talented, hardworking European musicians, such as very, very competitive environment. And it ended up being a bit stifling. And so um, I decided to kind of what I thought stick in my lane, stay in my lane, which was, okay, I speak English, teach people English. Um, and there wasn't exactly anybody competing with me on that as a native speaker. No matter what I did, I would always be a native speaker. And as a musician, I would always have to be kind of performing and practicing and improving and getting better and better and better. Uh, and if I didn't, then then uh that yeah would i i didn't quite see only the enjoyment factor of like i could teach people music enjoy it and not have to feel a sense of competition or something but uh, uh so i went down the language route but but i think music uh, it's it's still very enjoyable i love music i love listening to it i love playing it um and I think it can be a very powerful part of a language learning process of including song lyrics and finding things we like to listen to and getting our ears adjusted to the intonation patterns, pronunciation, um, the, the rhythm that we can hear in the, the music. And that can be a very powerful tool. Um, so I think music can be very useful for language learning. Um, hola, hola a todos. Hoy para el día 28 estamos hablando otra vez de um, un tema de la primera semana y entonces estoy uh, pensando un poco en la música y cómo uh, lo, la utilizo, la uso para el aprendizaje de los idiomas y también lo que acabo de decir en inglés es que durante mucho tiempo estaba entre los dos campos de como me dedico a la música, me dedico a los idiomas y, y uh, finalmente fui por el camino de los idiomas y entonces soy profesor, maestro de idiomas y preparación de los exámenes y, y dejé al lado a la música lo como sigo tocando escribiendo pero como que me dedico mucho más a los idiomas y al aprendizaje de los idiomas y este yo creo que no tiene que ser forzosamente como uno e, o el otro puede ser los dos y como encontrar la manera que me me gusta uh, estas dos cosas y, y usar los idiomas para 
o, o usar la música para aprender idiomas puede ser muy, muy agradable con las letras de las canciones que nos ayuda a conocer mejor la intonación, la pronunciación, el ritmo del idioma y así es um, Bonjour tout le monde, aujourd'hui pour le jour 28 on parle un petit peu d'un thème uh, de la première semaine uh, on parle un peu de la musique et je me rends compte uh, que je, je suis toujours un peu entre les deux côtés musique et, et langue et finalement j'ai choisi à uh, la partie uh, des langues uh, enseigner Uh, donner des, des, des conseils pour apprendre les langues uh, et puis je crois que finalement c'est pas forcément que je dois choisir l'un ou l'autre je peux faire les deux je peux, je peux uh, occuper mon temps uh, avec la musique et pas juste um, être tout le temps en train de penser à uh, une langue ou, ou l'apprentissage et ouais um, ouais c'est, c'est tout pour aujourd'hui uh, hallo an alle heute ist der 28. Tag und uh, ich spreche ein bisschen darüber die Musik und uh, es ist um, uh, ich, ich bin immer zwischen Musik und uh, Fremdsprachen und äh, ich denke, dass jetzt äh, mache ich mehr äh, Fremdsprachen und äh, ich bin Lehrer, aber es freut mich sehr, die Musik äh, schreiben, spielen äh, und ich kann die gleiche, oh, nicht die gleiche, ich kann diese zwei Dinge machen ähm, und ähm, wenn war ich äh, jünger, ähm, ich habe gedacht, dass äh, ich muss äh, haben ein äh, Musik oder äh, Fremdsprachen und äh, lernen und äh, ich um, I decided uh, dass ich möchte lernen und ja uh, yeah. uh, aber ich, ich denke dass uh, Musik kann uh, helfen uh, mit uh, ein Fremdsprachen lernen um, dies, wir können uh, mehr kennen die Aussprache uh, und ja, uh, yeah. das ist alle für heute. Uh, ciao a tutti, oggi o giorno, uh, ben tiotto. Um, parlo un po' uh, della de musica e um, sempre ho voluto fare uh, musica e le lingue, ma Ho, dice, ho deciso di continuare con le lingue uh, quando ho studiato in Europa um, uh, ho conosciuto molti musicanti ma um, come uh, giocano uh, molto bene um, ho s- sentito intimidato e, e, e per questo e, ho, ho deciso essere professore di lingue e non professore di musica ma posso fare due cose aiutare persone che vogliano imparare un strumento e, e penso che la musica puoi aiutare molto per imparare una lingua. Questo è tutto. Всем привет, Сфония. Двадцать восьмой день. Я говорю немного о 
um, muzike i e, takše um, e, izučate inostrani jeziki i kada ja bil malenkim, ja rešil bud uh, urabotat uh, prpolvovateljem. E, ja bil v, v Evropje i ja uh, paznakom se s mnoga um, uh, musicians, uh, muzikantov, uh, uh, No, это не помогал много, потому что я решил uh, быть проповедовател и не uh, играть лучше и практиковать лучше мой инструмент. Это было трудно, но сейчас я вижу, что я, я могу делать музыку и Uh, inostrani jeziki. Uh, I ja, ja dumajo, što muzika uh, pomagaj mnogo, što bo uh, izučati se jeziki. Uh, Naprimjer, proiznošenje. Uh, tak dalje. Tak, je to vsi ono svojno. Bolšo je spasivo, pa